Lights out and away we go. Who's had a good start? Who's a bad start? I'm going to have to wait and see as the things even out. Luke Smith definitely leading at the moment. Heading down to turn one. Goes very defensive initially. Very defensive initially. Looks like Cody may be looking to get second from the Ferrari. Oh, we've seen the Red Bull go there before in real life. It didn't end well, but it's definitely gone better for Cody so far. As Jesper now has gone up into third place past the Red Bull. That great oh, start for him uh, in his first full-time start from McLaren. He'll be able to improve that as the race goes on. So uh, I think that's Marcus. Oh, sorry. I think that's Marcus with damage. Right now in the pad of Bollocker to start the second lap. And there, Jesper up one, Cody down one. Top Jack got one on Jonathan, Jonathan Chen, but in early days. And looks like Jesper's making a run on the fry right now. Yes, he is for P2. Not to those who won't be happy about that at all. They're only for Ryan being yeah, it is. Uh, Will's got a front wing change, and that's holding up Danico a bunch. So uh, it's not been a great day for Williams so far. So, uh, yeah, there must have been a lot we didn't see then on that first lap. Yes, we set the fastest lap. So if Luke cannot get that over a second by the time they get to Lesnar 2, this could be an issue for him as Yonti goes past Mateo on the main straight. And that is now Aston Aston, Mercedes Mercedes from fifth to wing. Halo action that we saw between Max Verstappen and oh, there's Joda going a little bit to other. Joda's having a big amount of problems right now. Ferrari rear end. And Cody going around the outside. Didn't quite see what happened. I was actually maybe trying to have a go at Mateo who just got past, but Top Jack's always there trying to get past. Yeah, NBA breaks much later. Is able to make the corners. They've gone side by side through Chicane. That's not going too well. Right of them, and that's you know, what, losing I think that's three places in this race. It's horrible, even if you go like 75% diff higher rear end, it's so easy to lose the rear coming out of that corner as the two Mercedes are swapping round. Multi uh, 76, multi 76 for the Mercedes team, yeah. Mateo yeah. on top jack. He's got a penalty, Mateo does. So, who reacts? Who comes in? Uh, Luke comes in, Jesper comes in, Cody comes in, Yonsu comes in. Top Jack comes in, Yenov comes in, so everyone on the Zoss coming in. I think Mateo might have some damage, so he'll have to come in. Don't change too much at the, at the business end. We've still got Luke Smith, Jesper, and Cody, John T, Top Jack. But the only difference is Brownie, of course, on that little bit older rubber. He's going to have to hold Ooh, off the suit. He's uh, boxing. Brownie actually. comes in. Yeah. Because here we go. Luke Smith should be going any moment now. Safety car restart will be going on to lap 9 of 27 in the Town Grand Prix. He has gone. Well, looks like it's going down to turn one. Yonti, top deck, and Yenab. Yonti backs out wisely. Yenab staying down the inside. He's going to have the outside of top deck going there. That can be a bit dangerous. People can force him to do. Is he going to stick around the outside? He has to. He can't go to the outside. Is he going to try and get the place from breaking later? No, he backs out. Uh, in front, top deck, and Yenab going side by side. Top deck gets out in front. That's a Mercedes up to four. Pulling up. Oh, that's going down breakers. to Scurry. Then keeping it side by side. There's a bit of contact. Keep it clear. And there's. Oh, no! Oh, Yonti's not going to be happy about that at all. Keep it on this battle, but at the moment, I'd have to say, because they're all going to go. Four or five into turn one. Hold on tight. There's so many of them. I always get turns with this. So many cars close to each other going into a tight corner like that. As Marcus got a bit of a kick on the rear of that uh, surprise car. Yeah, yeah, remember Brownie from a hard tyre, so it should be taken candy for a baby. For now, of course. Yeah, those hard signs are only really going to come good at the very end of the race, but I'm, I'm not sure. It's quite Luke Smith much. already trying yeah. to go for it out. Well, yeah, I don't know why he's going for it here, considering he'll have DRS later on. He gets it down the inside. That's bold. So, yep, yeah, been back into the lead. Oh, yes, we're nearly losing as he just dipped a wheel onto the grass on the exit. And taken uh, one, two. So it seems Top Jack maybe had a mistake out of the scar as he's lost quite a bit to Yenab. Yes, and now goes into fourth place. He's watching what's going on up over the front point of this race. Uh, only one DNF so far. Jonah that brought out a safety car for a few laps. And uh, that's what's closed up. All these gladiators now heading down to turn one. And no overtakes done. So maybe... Hey, Cody Jones got past him, so... Interesting. I think he's slowing down to... Hmm. Oh, no throttle out there, apparently. He's having some technical issues. That's yeah, definitely... <laughs> And if he's got throttle issues, he might have brake issues as well. Explain why happened in turn one. As well, he gets to the outside line. Luke has to go to the inside. Oh. Well, that's compromised his run through there. Yes, but again, slipping on the rear. He doesn't seem to have as stable a rear as Luke. And we've seen Luke for it go through. Yeah. We've seen Luke go for it through Curva Grande before. Wouldn't be supposed to be done. Almost. Mm. I, I didn't quite see that properly. I didn't expect anything in turn one, but almost looked like he squeezed him on the entry. 
Cards has not had a great race at all so far. He'll need another safety card to bring him back into Ooh. this. Is Danny Cohen Brownie going side by side for Rogier? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Danny goes the same right from there. Uh, Alfa Romeo driver Brownie, he's only nine seconds of change down the road from our leaders, so he's still in a very comfortable position here. And he lets Danny Cohen back straight through. Yeah, that's to get DRS because the detection point is coming up. And you won't get that after the race. It won't show on the standings, but just keep that in mind, everyone. There so, in you. terms of warnings. So that's our steward uh, out there. Arn using overtake, so this could end up very interesting. Cody using overtake, Yellow using overtake. The top two aren't. Is it going to be something at turn one? Oh, they all lock up, by the looks of it. As he and has gone through it, turn one. Can't quite get Jesper from Cody he won't be happy about that at all. And that might, yeah, that's given Jesper a 10 second penalty. I'm, that's surely going to get removed. We saw Cody give Jesper the little nudge. Yes, we're going around the outside of Luke. Hopefully, won't get tapped from behind this time. And Luke doesn't send out the inside. So, yeah, yes, we keeps the place this time and has the lead. Anyway, well, now it's even between you guys. So, no advantage or disadvantage at this point. Still that DRS train, mate, as we're about to start lap 22. Yeah, so we're back onto that. Right. Cody's been tapped from behind, but, well, probably from Yenab. And, uh,. Yeah, that has put him now down to that's put him down to the battle between. Uh, so hopefully that's fixed for next game. Is so, interestingly, Jesper makes a decision not to overtake at turn one this time. Marcus Are we starting to see the classic Monta mind games, where it's like, okay, if I stay behind this lap, I'll be able to pass on the last lap, kind of thing. Are we already starting to see that? Even or? the VSC. Another. It's interesting. We'll see. We'll see what his car's like on track. It's another scary. No, it's already it? been removed. Never oh. mind. But. In, interesting that there wasn't even a VSC. Uh, don't think anyone, the only one using to take the moment is Ian Abbey's already turned that off. So, uh, yeah, I don't think Yes was going to go for it here. Ooh. No, just, oh. Yeah, I think he was just trying to make a little line out of that, and it looks like he got a little bit better out than Luke Smith came off, so that even Steven's going through there now. Power on for Yesba. Provisional. I'm going to the Everyone last needs to overtake. This is the big moment. Done. Yeah, uh, Luke's still there on the inside. They have to give each other enough room. Oh, Luke's been pushed out wide, but Chen Jay's there as well. He's got to look out. He's got to look out. And Luke's fighting back on the inside line. They're both here. Everyone's using overtake. They're all pushing as hard as possible. Luke pushing. Yes, but to the outside. That opens room for Chen Jay. They've all got to leave each other room. Yes, but maybe having a bit more ERS to go back down the inside. Luke wants to go for it. Ah, Rogier. And, oh, I'm scared for Ascari. I'm very scared. There's a yellow flag coming out of the scary. I think that's Will Gibson in last. Uh, but we'll keep focus on this, I think. He should still win this race, even though, unfortunately, it won't show the McLaren driver on the top step. But will the McLaren driver win the Italian Grand Prix? He yes, he does. So there we go. Ignore the 10-second penalty, so everyone. So then it's him on the lead. Sorry, on the win. Yenab second. Uh, Chen Jay third. Luke Smith will come down to fourth. Cody down to fifth. And Danico sixth.